All right, the Canadian team matchup is going on live as we're about to stand by with Jay Sabolski and Greg Ferraro at Rogers Place. Time for game three to start things off for the Canadian matchups. I hope you all enjoy the game and stick around later for game four in between. And now let's get started for game number three at Rogers Place. Guys, it's all yours. Enjoy. Oh, there should be no shortage of tension on the ice tonight here as this rivalry is renewed. Welcome back to EA Sports. James Sabalski and Rick Ferraro with you. Opening face-off is just seconds away. The Flames start with possession as we are now underway. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Edmonton's in now. Here's a chance, and he comes up with it. Markstrom's able to make the save look really easy. Now he doesn't have to deal with the rebound either. Picked up along the wall by Barry. Takes the puck along the boards. Quick feed to Perry. Moves the puck. Taken by Anderson. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Moves it to Goudreau. Takes the feed. The Flames looking against the half wall. Denied by the goaltender. Quick pass to Kachuk. Quick reflexes give him the opportunity to make back-to-back -back stops. Puck picked up by Nurse. Calgary's got possession at center. Pass it up ahead. What's an open space at center? Edmonton's got possession of the puck. And now he's over to Kane. To his teammate! but it's the tape-to-tape -tape pass that makes it all possible. The zone ability is the vision to see the play and the execution of the pass. We know this guy is such a great playmaker, always keeping an eye out for his teammates. They love getting open for him. Oilers' goal is first goal in a playoff, scored by number 56, Kerr Yamamoto. His first assist here by number 55, Leon Dreisaitl, and by number 37, Kai Fogel. Time of the goal, 3 6 remaining in the Stanley Cup playoffs. From the left side, takes it to center. Right in front with the shot. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. These are frustrating. You don't get many chances like this. I thought he made a good shot, but the goalie, an excellent stop, beats the shooter. Oh, just a great heads-up play by Backlund. Calgary's worked hard to be in the right position tonight. They've had their skating legs, and they're stealing pucks all over the place. Edmonton's playing it from the side. And that carries off a stick. Calgary's got the puck. Here's a short pass to Mangiapane. Takes the pass. And that one's turned away. Looks to make a play over to Malone. And now he angles it across to Fogel. Here's a chance right up in front. And they can't convert to the play. Takes the feet of the back end. And that goes off a player. Skates to the crease. Backhand shot here. He got into the low flight. It's really tough for the goalie to read where that puck's going. 
nearing the midway mark of the period. Edmonton's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Well, our goal is first goal in the playoff, scored by number 24, Brad Molo. His first assist here by number 86, Brad Forsberg. And by number... And by number 23, Molo. Time of the goal, 9.43 remaining in the first period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Right up along here. Here, yeah, first on school. Smith's got excellent positioning here to make that stop. I don't think if he's in good shape positionally, he even comes close to this. Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. Tricycles, what a big draw on their own end. Plays the puck up ahead. Can't complete the pass as it goes off the stick. And now he tries to get it across to Tricycle. And we'll get a breather here with offside the call. It's two nothing is where we sit. The Oilers win possession here in the open ice. And that's blocked. It's going to be a physical one. Quick feed to pull the army. And gets control of the puck once again here in the open ice. Shot! Launch him in front. That's broken up. The Oilers ready to go on the attack. Denied with the blocker. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Pull your army's hands make him always a danger around the offensive zone, but he can't pull this one off.
dry cycles good at making accurate passes with his tape to tape zone ability. It's how he sets up his teammates for success. One of these players is going to help give their team the upper hand tonight. Guys, back to you. He was locked in there. Excellent chance. They worked the puck into position, and it's a scoring chance that's turned away. Great puck check on the reach. Moves it to the truck. The Oilers gain control of the puck. More than half the frame has been played here. Edmonton's got a 2 0 lead. Backlund's won it in their own end. Anderson's loving the puck. Gets it over to Coleman. Poked away and it's centered by Nurse. Taken along the wall by Anderson. And now it's over to Mangiapane. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. This goal runs in! He gets a hold of his own rebound and makes it count the second time! The flames ready for the face off at center ice and narrowing that gap down to one now. Uh, that changes the whole mindset of this game. Now you're down just one. You're in the Belgium goal. goal. His first goal in the playoffs, scored by number 11, Nicole Backlund. His first assist here by number 84. And by number 43, Ryan Coleman. Time to go. 1543 seconds in the first period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Coleman down to the end. Make all the back on it. And you need goal. Now it's just the end. And on the goal. Sends over to Hannafin. Yeah, and now he angles it across to Sends the pass over. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. The Oilers take possession here in the open ice. Intercepted the pass. Calgary's team defense is something to watch tonight. I love the way that they just shut this game down. Smith's going to cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Here in the late goings of the period, the Flames have answered back in these last few minutes, but still need one more to even the score. Takes a hit on the play. And now he tries to get it across to Yamamoto. Shillington's taking it from his own end. The Flames move it ahead and tries to make a diagonal pass to Tanev. Pass back to the point. And still using a stick to poke the puck away. Sends a pass over. Here's a short pass to Yamamoto. Puck scooped up by Kane. And a bad pass, and they'll be forced to start all over again outside the offensive end. Quick feed to Yamamoto. And no luck on that pass attempt. Receives the pass. Looks to set up at the point now. Last minute in the first period, Jeremy de la Pierre Mary Pierre Less than a minute to go here in the opening frame. Bouchard's carrying it ahead. Calgary's got the puck along the wall. Tanev's taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. To the low spot. There's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. Whatever happens on this penalty. Edmonton penalty number 47, two minutes for tripping. It's an important time in the game. Our first look tonight at their power play unit. Edmonton penalty, Garner Fogel, two minutes for, for stripping. Time in the field. Time in Time penalty, 38 seconds in the first period. Call a play for Cowboys. 
And that'll put a bow on the first 20 minutes of action here tonight. We've got lots more still to come. Second period is just around the corner. Top inbound, the matching of Oilers and Flames. It's 2-1 game. Second period coming up next. On to the second period. And the official seems about ready to drop the puck on period number two. The Flames win possession here as we open up the period and that power play is still on top. Scores! World title! It's a new game! They take advantage on the power play of having the extra player on the ice. When a puck battle get to the front of the net, everything becomes a little more congested around the front with an extra player. They take advantage, and they're on the board and tie the game. Gallery goal, his first goal in the playoffs. Uh, power play goal. Goal. Uh, tell you his first assist here by number three. And by number Eric Lindholm. Time to goal, eight seconds in the, in the second period, the top of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Gallery goal, you never been here. You know, only the power of play. Hey. Lots of time the period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. First man to hit the night for you, the assistant. Moves it quickly over to Nurse. And Curry Curry. 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 He's lost his stand. He pulled the inner manager. Moves it to Goudreau. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Can't get it to go. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. There's the go ahead goal, and we have a new game. Taking the lead now, you control it. You push the pace, you push the other guys back up your heels. His big rig superstar ability means he can shield the puck while driving into the net, and we certainly saw it on that goal. Gallery goal, Take his second goal seven. in the playoffs, scored by number eight, 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 Larry Kocha, assisted by number 28, Eric Lindholm. Time of the goal, minute and 33 remaining in the second period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Gallery goal, in the break, he went to the line. He went to the line. He went to the line. Yeah, it's one three at no chill. Yeah, door so chill. Eric and Lingo. He went out to the goal. Picking up some steam at center ice. Mm. There's a hit mm. on the play. Ooh, the flames are going to be the Like much, but the defensemen are helped out by this puck being in the corner. The 
the Flames played along the boards. Move to the middle, and that's picked off in front. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Here he is from the slot. Monster saved by Markstrom. Calgary's got control of it now from their own end. Handles it along the blue line. That goes on between. Moves the puck. Quick shot. Oh, an unbelievable stop by Markstrom. Stays with it. Calgary's got it in their own zone. Toffoli's got it into offensive territory. Puts it on net. Oh, there's a great stop by Smith. Passes it over to Dreisaitl. Calgary's got a hold of the puck now. And that's taken away. Oh, that's a smart heads-up play as he breaks it up with the poke. Nice zone entry from the middle. The Oilers have it behind the cage. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Along the half wall with the puck. Takes the feed at the point. Gets a glove on it to make the save. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play. If you're not sure what's going on, freeze the puck. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. 3-2 is where we sit in what has been a tightly contested affair. And he blocks the shot. Great defensive play. Left save made by Markstrom. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Some last second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. Calgary's won the draw. Takes the feed. Nice zone entry from the right side. The Oilers get a hold of the puck in their own end. And now it's grabbed by Nurse. Takes the pass. Hangs onto the puck. Maintains possession. From one end of the blue line to the other. Comes up with a stop. Markstrom's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. Past the midway mark of the frame, Calgary's hanging on to this 3-2 lead. Puck scooped up by Anderson. Things starting to get a little physical out there. The Flames are on the attack. Let's it fly. That's kicked away with a pad by Smith. Right up the gun into the attacking zone. And he regains control of the puck. Moves it quickly over to Keith. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. Still lots of time. They're still going to try to keep it going. The Oilers win it. Puck grab by Bouchard. Picked up along the wall by Ryan. Makes a move in front. And he scores. Well, I don't think this is going to count, James. Look how quickly the official waved that off. Well, they obviously didn't like the call, but not a lot of time to dwell on it as we are ready to get play back underway. Won the draw, they take possession here in the open ice. Anderson's got the puck in his own zone. Edmonton's looking to break out of their own end. Nice pass. Dead eyes on the play. Edmonton's got the puck. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Sometimes you make a good shot, you just get beaten by the goaltender. I'd say that's one that you put in that category. Too many bodies in the way. Tries to feed it over to Coleman. Calgary's in now. Edmonton's got the puck inside the defensive zone. The Oilers play it along the wing. And that's a great defensive heads up to force the turnover. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Moves it to Hyman. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Moves the puck to Keith. And that pass can't connect. And things start to ramp up a little bit now on the ice with that play. Calgary's got it across the line. Mejapati's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. Let's see what the officials say. Edmonton penalty number two. Two minutes for tripping. Penalty killers can do a job, and they can... 
maybe gain that momentum back. Kachuk's out here for the power play, guys. We know he's got that zone ability, and it could be a weapon here as they try to get on the board for the special teams. Edmonton penalty, Duncan, Duncan Key. Two minutes for tripping. Time of the penalty remaining. And closing period. 1430 remaining for a Calgary power play. Back at the point they set it up. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Takes the feed. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Skates in behind the cage. And a huge stop by the goaltender out point blank range. Goalies love making the glove save, whether it's a great save or a rather run-of-the-mill one. They love to show you that they've caught it after they've put it away. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck. Bouchard stick handling in his own zone. Calgary's got a hold of it against the wall. Goes right to the crease. Oh, tremendous athletic reflexes there with the toe stop. And they get the puck out. Looking to break out here on the power play. Slides the puck over. Quick pass to Lindholm. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. Uh, he's going to feel he missed one there. You don't get many chances that clean. The goalie turns it aside. Great reach with the stick in the neutral zone by Hyman. Moves the puck to the attacking area. Nugent Hopkins sitting up against the wall. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. And that's turned aside by Marston. There's another stop. Picked up along the boards by Pooley Army. And that's offside stopping the play. In the final moments of this period, Calgary's got a 3-2 lead at this point. The Flames win the draw here in the neutral zone. And now he moves it quickly to Lindholm. Here's a shot! Trots that puck tight to his chest. Takes the feed from the goaltender. Slides the puck ahead to Dreisaitl. Reads it perfectly and comes up with the takeaway. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Calgary's got it now. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. Here's a short pass to Nurse. And that doesn't exactly go tape to tape. The Flames grab possession of the puck. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. Cuts into the paint. Being stopped by the goaltender right in front. Misses. Oh, man, he's frustrated with himself. He's got to get that on the net. to Nugent Hopkins. The Flames gain possession. From the defensive zone. Last minute in the second period. During a minute the lab the most few periodes. Shuts it down with the power last stop. The Oilers have it now. Takes a shot. Makes the hook stop. Markstrom's done it again. Another terrific save. And he's kept this game close. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. Puck is dropped. He wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Moves it to Mangiapane. Gains the zone through the middle. The Oilers get a hold of the puck. Couldn't complete the pass. Takes the shot. That's turned away with the pad by Marston. And that concludes the second period of play. Still one more period of regulation time. We'll see what happens in the third next. It's going to be a tough one. The battle in range of battle in Edmonton. Let's find out if we get a good, good plays in between when we come back. Ray Ferraro is back down at ice level. Ray, 40 minutes played so far. What's been your assessment of this 
dealt. The Oilers will continually grind away looking for that prime goal. They have really had the puck a lot and generated a lot of offensive chances. Along the way, up the neutral zone. Quick shot. Bad save. He's on it tonight. Now a quick pass to Lindholm. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. Through the middle of the ice, they end the attacking zone. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Barry. Makes it look easy with the stop. Taken by Puyarvi. Unleashes a cannon! That opportunity is rejected. Mangiapane's got the puck. And he elects to play the puck. Over the line they come. Edmonton saw the attack. Routine save made by Markstrom. Takes that pass back at the point. Aaron pass and they can't connect. Down the right side and into the zone. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll be forced to tag up. The Oilers looking against the half wall. Here's a pass down low. Calgary's got control of the puck. Sends the pass over. Moves the puck along the half wall. Oh, he caught him! Did he ever head down right into the train tracks? And the puck's going away. The Flames will play from the corner. Here's a chance! And he makes the save on that play. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Sends a pass over. Puts it on the end. Stopped by the goaltender. Feeds the puck across to Toffoli. The Oilers get a hold of it. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. And they won't connect on that one. Backlund's moving the puck through his own zone. Can't connect. Edmonton grabbed a hold of the puck. Oh, and a great heads up play to force the turnover by Lucic. Tremendous stuff by Smith. I like how he's able to follow the puck. Good save in close. Moves it quickly over to Nugent Hopkins. Calgary's got the puck in their own end. The Oilers take possession here in the open ice. Pumps it away in his own end. And that's deflected. Stopped by the goaltender. Great step work as he pumps it away. Moves it to Fogel. He can all of that one. He's a power forward. That's a big part of his game. He really threw a big hit. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Nugent Hopkins. The Oilers have it in the offensive zone. Back to the blue line. And there's the save. Puck picked up by Hyman. Locked in traffic. Monaghan swooping in on the attack. Gains the zone through center. CeCe's got it along the wing. That pass doesn't go. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. He's sharp on that one. No one to go for the puck. Smith's going to cover it up. He's been busy tonight, Ray. And been good. A lot of times you get busy and worn down. I think that's why you jump on it. Freeze it in a close game. More than half the period left to play. The Flames have a little breathing room here, but not much as they lead it 3-2. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Denies him! He got all of it! There's the whistle as the puck stopper likes to hang on. The centers will glide into the dot. Shot, James, but I can't believe he had that much time.
time to tee it up. Walk right into it and beat the goalie. The Oilers have tied things up, and boy, it felt like this was overdue. They've had the puck the whole time, it seems like they... It seems Oilers scores! First goal in the playoff score by number 20, Tyler Benson. His first assist here by number two, Kirby Keith. And by numbers, by number 71, Harry McCloy. Time of the goal, 6.32 remaining in the third period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Oh, what a stop! Slides the pass over to Lindholm. This is point night. Everybody, it seems, is on the board with either a goal or an assist. And since it's not over, even if you don't have one, you've got a chance still. This game is going to have goals right until the final horn. Past the halfway mark of this period, it's all tied up. The Flames take possession off the faceoff. Oh, that was like a bomb exploding against the boards. He's got a step, and he falls apart. Yeah, I'm not sure that breakaway was the way he planned it. I mean, you get into the clear and you're excited. You got an idea of what to do, but that wasn't it. Dreisaitl's got to be satisfied about his contribution. He's used his own ability to generate scoring chances, guys, and it's really worked out for him. Zero fear on this guy's part as he blocks it. Here's a short pass to Yamamoto. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Look out, here they come on the attack. Slides the puck across to Kane. Calgary's won the draw and they'll go to work. Oh, what a 
First goal in the playoffs. Set four by number three, Ted Hyde Hyde Chuck. Gobbles that puck up with his chest. Takes the pass. Hammers one. Oh, a clutch save. Manages to hang on. Oh, what a stop with the paddle. The Flames played along the boards. Knocked away with the stick by Nurse. matchup in between the Canadian teams. This was all happened. 4-3 beating the Buzz he beat here in third period. And the Flames extend their lead. Now for the three star players of the game we have is Ramus Anderson. Two assists and five hits. Then Elias Lindholm. Three assists and five hits. Did already have once but he made it twice. And then for the first star a tough player did inbound it and had it all in front of it. That was Matthew Tatchuk. All three in a row for the Flames. They are rocking them down. Not a great shot driver for the Oilers to stop them. So that happens to be the end of the third game in between. It's a lot of battling in the Edmonton. The Oilers have already won against the Flames here in the first seed, but they couldn't save it and try to survive it at that point. It looks like the next one will be game four after this one. Then we will head right into the Eastern Conference semifinals to check out the last one part of the game. So I'd like to thank you for watching. And if you haven't checked the last video of the Wilds and the Avalanche, check out the last video right over there on the calling card.
Thank you for watching. Until next time, peace out, everyone. For a while, as the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs of the NHL 22 dial. Thank you, and good night. Did you know? Somebody will.